It is time for you to stop hating your birthday. In honor of it being my birthday, I want to help you guys love yours. Obviously, it's a very individual thing if people don't like their birthday. I'm just going to be talking to the main ones that I have seen. Pressure. You need to figure out what you need to do. It comes once a year, so you want to make it a good day, but you don't know how to make it a good day because you don't know what you want to do. You don't know what you want to eat. There's so many different factors that I think a lot of other people are pushing on you. The second thing I think is disappointment. I think this is probably the biggest one. A lot of people are disappointed by their birthday. They have these expectations that aren't being met. And at the end of the day, they're crying or they're disappointed by whatever happened that day or whatever didn't happen that day. The third big one is loneliness. I think a lot of people are feeling like they should be surrounded by a lot of people on their birthday and when they're not they feel lonely. They are thinking back to their life and they're thinking I don't have that many people in my life. So I think those are the three main things is pressure, disappointment, and loneliness. So we're going to talk about that guys. When you don't like your birthday for either most or all of your life, when it comes around you already have that like negative connotation around your birthday. So you're setting yourself up to not like it. The fact that it's your birthday, you're setting yourself up to be disappointed, to not like it so first we need to get that mindset out second thing is drop all expectations that you have from other people i think this is a very popular one because a lot of people have set expectations of how they want others to behave how they want to be surprised how they want their birthday to be and they put that on the people around them it is your job to make your birthday a good day literally all of that is mindset i used to judge if my birthday was good based off of like things that would happen the gifts i would get like how many people said happy birthday to me and i love my birthday because of the attention other people gave me that is why i used to love my birthday if i didn't get enough attention that day or anything like that my birthday wouldn't be as good so the second thing you need to do is drop all expectations that you have for other people as far as loneliness goes this is a hard one because a lot of people just feel like they should be surrounded by people they feel like they should have a certain number of people or a certain person there but the thing is guys this is a day for you and yourself alone to appreciate you it is not to appreciate that others appreciate you. Focusing on the negative is literally just asking to dislike your birthday. And it's hard. I'm not saying any of this stuff is easy, but it is fixable. As far as pressure from other people or pressure from yourself to figure out exactly what you want to do, you will have other birthdays. You will have other days. Now, offense, I think pressure is the stupidest one to be upset about. Like, I'm sorry. If you have the pressure from other people, be thankful that they care enough to ask you what you want to do. And if it's pressure from yourself, let it go. It's your day. You can do whatever you want. So sitting there stressing about what you want to do, sitting there feeling like there's so much pressure to figure everything out, drop it. It's stupid. Drop it. Figure out what to do. Figure out what to eat. Blah, blah, blah. You can't figure out what the perfect birthday looks like. You're just going to be sitting there wasting your day and then that pressure is going to be for a reason because you fucked it up. Now that we have covered maybe why you hate your birthday and what you can do to fix that, I'm going to give you some tips to make your birthday a good day. So first thing I do when I wake up, I just tell myself that this is gonna be a good day. No matter the weather, no matter the people around me, no matter what happens, no matter what I do, what I eat, whatever happens, it's gonna be a good day. Make yourself feel pretty. Pick out a cute outfit and do your makeup. If you feel like you look good, you already feel better. That's already a better day. All right, this next one takes a little bit of planning, but this can actually be like your birthday activity. A lot of stores, restaurants, just different places have rewards programs that if you're signed up with them, they will give you things on your birthday. So you can literally just go around all day collecting these things. Or if you're trying to save money, but you still like want to treat yourself on your birthday, this is the best thing because like so many restaurants, Kava, I think Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Moe's, um, Auntie Anne's, like so many places can get a percentage off or you can get like a free meal or like something like that. Also stores have this, like a S Sephora gives you a free gift for your birthday. Like sign up for as many of these rewards things as you can because one, sometimes it's free birthday gifts and two, it's like an activity for the day that you can do is like go collect as many of these as you can like have all of your meals with like being free or whatever yeah those are like my little tips and tricks we don't live for that long honestly guys and like making that a tradition to hate one day a year is one day too many anyway now that that little lecture is over let's go see what we can get into on my birthday right so we went to candytopia today and it's basically just like a pop-up museum in our mall and it had a bunch of different candy art made of candy and stuff and it took us a really long time to find it in the mall but we eventually found it and i'm not even kidding it was made for babies like it was literally just a bunch of parents and their tiny tiny toddlers and it was hard to like do anything and see anything because there was just kids running around literally everywhere 
but it was actually pretty cool there was like a bunch of just art made of candy like jelly beans gummy bears things like that and it would tell us on the wall like how long it took them to make it and like how many grams of sugar it was and everything like that so it was pretty cool to see all of that fun little swing like there was some interactive stuff and it was actually pretty fun once you got past like holy shit this is for kids marshmallow pit that i really wanted to go in but it was just like full of kids when it was our turn and i'm sorry but i'm not doing that and then there was like this thing you would just squeeze through and it was i was so claustrophobic like i didn't want to do it but you know what i'm not a pussy so we did <laughs> And that's it we got to the gift shop and we head out it was fun but i would not say it was worth 30 dollars. but like whatever it was fun <laughs> I've never had a mochi donut, so we tried them today and they're really, really good. Thank you for spending my birthday with me. I hope that you learned to love yours and I will see you in the next video.